you guys. I just got back from yard sailing and I wanted to show you some of the amazing vintage finds that I found this Saturday yard sailing. Not only do I want to show them to you, I want to show you what I'm going to be doing with them. So first thing that I found is I'm always on the hunt for vintage books and I found tons of amazing vintage books. These were $2 a piece. They have beautiful patina and um, they have such, the covers are absolutely beautiful. And then inside are just beautiful illustrations. And um, I just love decorating with vintage books. I'm actually going to put a link below on how I decorate with vintage books. So this was an amazing find. Also too, I found this basket for only a dollar. And a really good tip if you find baskets like this at yard sales is you could stencil the front with a number, you could put your name, you could put um, the year that you were established, um, your home or your family was established. And this is such a perfect size, it, magazines fit perfectly in, in here. So I also wanted to show you this incredible basket that I got for only a dollar because it was broken. <laughs> I thought it was a beautiful basket. I think it would be perfect. Um, it's about 24 inches wide and about tw maybe 18 inches deep. I thought it would be perfect to put towels in, to stack blankets, to stack pillows in our family room. Also too, I found these amazing play holders. These were only a dollar a piece and they work really well when you, with um, a vintage platter like this one that I found. Y'all always be on the lookout at yard sales for vintage platters like this. They are so pretty. And this one has an amazing crackle finish. It, as you can tell by the sticker, it was $5. But it's the perfect thing is to just put them on these plate holders like this and then stack them around your house to decorate with. I think probably with these plate holders, typically I spray paint them to match my home. So usually I spray paint them white. Sometimes um, bronze or copper seems to be um, what I've been going to lately. I also found these fun organizers. They were only $2 for both of them. They are jute, absolutely so cute. Um, you can see the jute top there. And then the best part is inside they are wood. So I thought these would be perfect on um, just to create a little vignette. Maybe put this one on a stack of books. Um, you could also paint a number or a name on the front of it. You know, if you just wanted to add a little bit of visual interest to that. Also too, I found this vintage piece right here. This was um, $10 and I found it at a yard sale and it's going to be perfect for outdoor picnics and outdoor entertaining. I'm going to paint it white and then paint a monogram on the front of it. So perfect for tucking in paper plates, um, napkins, maybe some outdoor platters, and then you can just carry it out to your picnic table and you're ready to go. It's also a fun holder for books, magazines. It really fits by any um, table in your home. I found this super cute herb planter. I'm really into growing herbs right now. And I thought this was a dollar. I was like, um, I like having herbs in separate containers. It's just a fun thing. This was such an incredible find. It was $2 because it was broken, which that's a good tip at yard sales. If things are broken, they should always be less money. And in my house, everything's already broken. So so it doesn't really matter to me. I thought this was absolutely beautiful. It's woven jute around a metal frame and it has um, this really cute leather handle on the one side. So um, I found this, let, let me show you this, this fun artwork right here. This was, I actually just saw this at Hobby Lobby and it was, um, I think I talked her down to $2 for this beautiful piece, but my very favorite find. I wanted to show y'all this, how cute. Now, the secret here is when you go to a yard sale, you never know what you are gonna find. So when I woke up this morning and I was thinking about yard selling, I had no idea that this amazing thing was in my future. And you're like, Graham, what is that? Okay, well, I think it used to be a vintage planter, but let me show you what I'm going to do with it. I am gonna take it and put a hook up here like this, and kind of hanging out from the wall. So here will be the wall, there'll be a hook. And then I thought I could either A, 
hanging in my craft room and I put scissors in one, maybe um, pens or pencils in another, maybe some extra paper in another one. Or I thought about hanging in my kitchen and I have a lot of vintage silver plate and I thought it'd be the perfect place to again, hang it from the wall um, and just have it kind of hang down and then a great kind of organizer for all of my vintage silver um, pieces. So you never know what you are gonna find at a yard sale. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the fun things that I found at yard sales today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a comment below and follow along with me for tons more yard sale finds just like these.